Lovely to the line. Back to the middle again. With the ball and the tip goes off. Looks again in the middle. The Avengers didn't quite get it. What was me the most is that every time they make a shot, it just seems like we halfway get there. Take it. Show the grass. The guy doesn't connect. The artist came up with it. As the rest of the ball. Quick out there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We came out, we played hard, and uh, I mean, they knocked down some shots coming towards the end. They played real tough. Uh, hopefully, they have a good run going into the playoffs. On the M1, uh, so it was uh, about five, six hour ride, and normally it took us around three, so we were on the bus for a pretty long time. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with the season, but I mean, we, we played tough, you know what I mean? We had a couple injuries, you know, that resulted in this. Uh, Losing some games where we would have won. But, you know, I mean, we played tough and it's been a good season. I've enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it was tough coming up, late arrival, but I feel like we played as hard as we could. We played a great game. It was an exciting game, back and forth. We just uh, ran out of gas, I guess. Yeah, most teams don't get to end their season on a win. We get a chance to do that. So, uh, I think it'll be the best thing for our club and for our fans to win at home and close it out. Yeah, I like the BBL. Um, had, a, had fun. A lot of ups and downs. Uh, Want to come back and redeem this one. <laughs> I really do. First and foremost, I want to congratulate my team on a good win tonight. You know, good, uh, what's that, 10 in a row at home? And that's a record, so first and foremost, I want to congratulate them. And like I said, this award right here, without my teammates, coaches, staff, and the fans, it wouldn't mean nothing. It was a great game today. This season, like I said, I'm a rookie. It's been a great experience, you know. I had my ups and downs. And you never know what, you never know what the future can tell, you know. I had a good year, and hopefully, we get a home playoff game, you know, if we advance. And we keep from there. It's a good season though, great season. You know, 
I love the I love the Lesser Rider fans. I love y'all. Y'all watching this? I love y'all. I got one more thing to say. I want to shout out my mother, my sister, brother, and niece. I love y'all. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, there's we had a little win streak going on, um, which we had to keep going. And plus, it's all about momentum going into the playoffs. So we need this win more than all the other previous wins now. So we get hopefully have some carryover. Yeah, but um, we're looking forward to it. You know, um, we've been working hard all year, and you know, hard work is gonna pay off. Right now, it's all about who's rocking and rolling. You know, we're ready. Definitely. Um, I mean. Well, it's all about the team, you know, more so because the game is always bigger than the one individual. So I'm happy where we are. Um, now we're just trying to get to the NIA, cut down the nets, you know. Great to be back at home. You know, we were on the road for four games and it didn't go well for us. Um, tonight we came out, um, started a little sluggish, but, um, you know, it was great. Our fans have uh, done such a great job for us this year. And again, tonight the crowd was fantastic. and. Um, you know, we made the plays we needed to, and, uh, you know, number 21 for us, 21 wins in the league. Uh, I told the guys before the game that uh, I'm proud of them. Uh, the one thing is we may make mistakes, we may not be smart at times, but they always play hard, and uh, that's what you can ask for as a coach, and it's good to see. Well, I mean, a good thing about that is uh, we just did it, so uh, we understand what it's all about, and, you know, we were able to see them um, recently. Uh, you know, they're a good team. Yanders and Sapp, great players, and Sterling does a nice job as a coach. And, uh, but our guys are fired up for it, and uh, we, we love that environment up there. It was a nice place to play. So, you know, it's playoff basketball, and um, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, it's this time of year injuries crop up. Unfortunately for Jason, uh, he had a little bit of an injury, but we're not ruling him out of that one just yet. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to a trip to the doctor this week for him, and, um, you know, pretty confident that uh, he can get back going. And if he doesn't, then um, as you see tonight, we got a lot of other guys that are ready to step up. Uh, yeah, it was a great, um, great way to go out with a win, man. Uh, we got 21 wins again this season. Uh, a little unfortunate we didn't get more, but that's how the, you know, that's how it goes. So um, we got to continue to work to get better for next weekend. Uh, I'm not sure who we got, but um, it's looking like it's going to be glass for again. Yeah, I mean, you know, just another typical day in the BBL, I guess. You never know what to expect. Um, I got a call from Daniel Sandell telling me that they were stuck on the motorway, so I kind of knew and had my mind prepared that uh, we're going to have a uh, postpone a little bit. So, um, you know, you just got to have your mindset ready once the, once the ball jumps up. So you can't, can't worry about who, what time they're getting in or what time the game starts. You got to be ready to play. Yeah, um, they're a very tough team. Um, they got a lot of guys that can make plays. Um, their backcourt is probably the best backcourt in the league by far. Uh, what we got to do is just continue to do what we did against them in the first half and not change what uh, we did and just continue to build on um, getting the ball inside, playing, uh, taking care of our mismatches and, and, you know, playing good team basketball. Yeah, that's been going on all season. Um, Jason's down. Uh, we had uh, early this season when Brad was out with some illness. We had guys step up. So, you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, you can't really count on one person or count, you know, who's going to stop on this team because we've got a lot of guys that can play and make plays. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with our team um, and the way we finished. Um, I thought we struggled on the end with the last uh, road games, but, you know, we got a young team. Uh, we played four good teams on the road at their home. Um, but to come out and have change that we did at Christmas and, and win eight games in a row and uh, finish with a win at home, I, I'm very happy with the success we had this year. Um, all the Riders fans, I appreciate you guys showing us all the love this season. Uh, last season as well to my guys who I played with last year, Phil Missouri, Thomas Swanson. You guys keep your head up, man. I see you guys when I see you.